I was the second son in a sharecropper's family, and a sharecropper means that you don't own anything. I mean, you work for someone else who's the landowner. We had practically nothing. Everything was hand-me-downs from someone else. I didn't have shoes, and to this day, my toes are all grown under because I didn't have shoes. I remember I had this encounter with my mother, and I said, you know, tell me you love me, and she didn't do it. And so I went down, and I sat on this creek bank, and I thought, you know what? I don't care if anybody loves me, I love me. I made a list of goals that I wanted to accomplish. And they were laughable because I didn't even have two nickels to rub together, but my first goal was I was gonna be a millionaire by the time I was 35. Number two, I was gonna have food to eat because we were always hungry. I mean, my little brother and I used to make mud pies to stop the hunger pains, and I was gonna travel all over the world. Those were my goals. I've learned everything from working with Randy. I didn't know anything about business. I started out, before I met Randy, I was a teacher, a mathematics teacher. Well, I think so. we have a very good balance. Randy's really good in sales and telling the story and explaining why people need to have whatever it is that he's selling. And then he comes to me and says, Wendy, can we make it do this? <laughs> and I have to get it done. We started working together, and we were together all the time doing things, and then we just, you know, couldn't be without each other. And once she got exposed to me, it was, it was downhill from there. I mean, she could not last a day without me. That's probably you know? true. That's what the COO does here. Does hair? She preps me. Spit on it, honey, like you used to do. I never spit. <laughs> We retired a few times. Did he tell you that? We've tried retirement three times, but we never figured out exactly how to do it because we've worked all of our lives. We took a year and we traveled around the world. Then when the decision of the day became, where are we having breakfast? I thought, we're in trouble. If I were giving you advice and you were meeting Wendy for the first time, I would tell you, don't get your feelings hurt if she uses her phone while she's meeting with you. Hey Kim. Hey Chris. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. I kind of feel like a triage nurse at a hospital. And every week I go in and I reprioritize. No, 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 no. I'm not approving that. I think what drives Wendy is her desire to be the best and provide the best of service to everyone. Awakened at 2.30 in the morning, and I hear this little click, 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 And it's Wendy over there looking something up at 2.30 in the morning. And I'll say, why aren't you sleeping? You can do that tomorrow morning. <laughs> we are the definition of entrepreneurs. And we don't like doing one thing at a time. We have to do a lot of things at the same time. It's not just Randy and Wendy doing all this work. The whole team, every single one of us works around the clock. Hey, gorgeous. Listen, <laughs> Bernice has been with us for what, five, six years? Six years. Six years. Yes. And we love her to death. And we, I love you guys. Yeah. Randy leads with his heart. And he's the most incredible person I've ever met. He's gone through so much in his life. And I believe that Randy's, I'm gonna make me cry here. Randy has made the difference in my life. What's important is, what do I contribute this day to make the world a better place? I know that sounds corny, but that's really what it is. My daddy used to say, we leave here with empty pockets. The other thing my dad said, is that when you leave, you'll be accountable for two things. One, how did you treat Mother Earth? And two, how did you treat the people on Earth? I feel that I have found joy and that I've given joy, and I think there's a lot more joy that we can give.